Hey everybody, welcome to Know the Pro with Sabo Sacha, powered by Marshall Music. Um, this is a show where you're going to get to meet some of your favorite artists, some guys you may know, some guys you may not know, but just musicians, session musicians in general that you've seen on TV, that you've heard play on albums, that you have been listening to and checking. So I'll be bringing you drummers, keyboard players, guitarists, bass players, and at some point possibly sound engineers as well. So yeah, this is No The Pro with Sabu Sacha. Today I have a very special guest. To kick it off, we start with Sianoba Luketo Mteto. Mm -hmm. Some of you know him as Luketo, we know him as Sianoba, <laughs> Sia, Yambose, yeah, yeah. whatever you want to call him. Current musical director of Tura Celebration. He has done so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let him introduce himself. Tell us a little bit about himself and then we'll get into it. So yeah, welcome. Hey man, thanks for having me. Um, well, yeah, as he has briefly mentioned, my name is Siangoba Mteto. I'm a musician. I'm a pianist, musical director, music producer. Right. I write music as well. Um, I've been in the industry for quite a number of years now. I think I started professionally in 2010. Um, when I moved to, to Johannesburg. But before that, I, I studied music. And um, after that, then I, I went into the industry professionally. Awesomeness. Awesome. So, yes, uh, guys, this is an educated musician. Um, yeah, I understand you started in church like most of us do. Yeah, yeah, I started in church. Uh, my father is a pastor. Well, I'm a, I'm a PK. So <laughs> um, at a very young age of well, at six years old, my father was also a choir conductor at, at, at a school that he was teaching at. So um, I remember I would come home with a, what you call a melodica. Right. Um, and he would teach me. I remember the first scale he taught me was C major scale. Right. So from then, I then figured out the rest by myself. I just got hooked on it like yeah. from that young age. Right. Started playing in church. I mean, there was no musical instruments back at my church. So... I would literally put the mel melodica on a table, put a pipe and blow, you know, until they, you know, they noticed, no, man, this guy really loves this thing. Then they started buying instruments, you know, then, yeah, that's how it started for me. Okay. Um, See, so yeah, let's talk about eventually when uh, Abbas al Bako, they eventually allowed you to go and study music. I mean, I know this is a conversation we have um, I know with me, it was yeah. a huge thing. You want to be a musician? No. I mean, on your side, how did that work out? Um, it's not different than yours. Um, I remember, I mean, they knew. I mean, my dad introduced me to music. Right. They knew I had a passion for it um, because, I mean, even during my school years, I would still do some music activities in the community uh, back then. Um, from primary all the way to high school, and when I did my metric, I then um, expressed to my, to my mother that I want to pursue music as a career. My dad will not have it. Like he was like, no, you need to pick something that's um, going to put food in it, that, something that's actually a career, you know. <laughs> and you know, when you're still young, you, you can't really explain yourself much. Right. So, I mean, my dad is an academic. So when he asked me, so how are you going to make money from this thing? I didn't really have answers for him. All I knew was that I love this thing and I'm passionate and this is where I want to see myself right. um, in, in, in my future. So yeah, we had a, a, a very rough back and forth between my father to a point where he then said, no, I'm not going to support you financially if you're going to do oh, wow. uh, music. So uh, with my mom's help, I was able to, I guess, persuade my dad to allow me to go and study music. Um, I remember my, my first year, my mom paid uh, my registration fees at, at varsity. Then from there, I think it was just by God's grace, I, I got bursaries. I did very well at varsity nice. until I finished my, my, my degree in, in, in record time. So throughout my varsity years, I was studying uh, through bursaries um, hmm. uh, until I finished. And it was good for me to see my dad finally coming around when he saw that, oh, actually this thing is, is doing more for me than he thought, you know. At the end of the day, parents, all, all they want is to see their, their children do well. Succeed, and I understood yeah. that. Yeah. So I was happy when he came around and he was like, no, I think I understand where, where, um, where you are going with this music thing. So yeah, it eventually uh, worked out for me, you know. 
So that just goes to show if you really want something badly, mm. you know, you need to really push at it and work hard at it. Um, yeah. Sia, we've really spoken about your background, your history. Um, let's talk a little bit about what you are currently doing now in the industry. Apart from working as a producer, working as a session musician, a composer, a musical director, you also run ABC Piano. Yes, um, yes. Please tell us a bit more about ABC Piano. Um, ABC Piano is a baby of mine. Um, basically, I, I give back to young musicians. I teach them um, how to play piano and I give them skills that I acquired, um, I guess, from a rough background for me. I remember when I was still in high school, it was very hard to find information back then. Right. I think I, I started getting formal education when it comes to music at grade 11 at a school called Kogisa back then, which was um, Mams Bongile um, Goma's um, yes, yes. home sort of school, you know. So I learned there, I started learning music formally, and I, I had wished to go to, I'd learned all of these things much earlier in my career, you know. So I've, I've, I've always looked at how I had to really hustle to get the kind of information I wanted um, to become this professional musician that, that, that I am now. So I've been compiling all of this um, information and experiences that I've, I've, I've had to, to, to go through to sort of create something that I can use um, to give back to people who want this information. A lot of people have seen me in the industry doing right, big right. things and they aspire to, to be where I am. So I want to give back. I want to teach as much as I can. Um, so ABC Piano is a concept that came from that. You remember I started in, I think in 2017, I yes, started yes. teaching, doing one-on-one -on -one piano classes uh, where I had an office in um, Maboning. That was mm -hmm. my first time doing this thing. Um, I, I, I think I taught for like over a year. Then, because it was not really practical for me to always drive to the office the whole time, right. I had to think of something out of the box to really do this thing so that it has the, the, the kind of impact I wanted reach it to reach a lot have. more people than exactly. just one person at a time. Yeah, so I, I, I just decided to go online with this whole thing, um, built a site, um, I got someone to help me build a site, you'll see it on, on, on the internet, www.abcpiano.net, only 160 rands a month, you get access to all the content on the site, you know, I cater for beginners, intermediate advanced um, uh, classes as well so i mean it's for anyone really if you want to learn piano you know go go on the site and get all the information you need okay all right um yeah. guys yeah i'm sitting with one of the many greats here um <laughs> i think uh, for me um, possibly a legend already i mean i've worked with usia for past how many years now Oh, um, since 2010, I think. Since 2010, we started working together in Joy Celebration, and yeah. it's been, yeah, album after album since, and we've done other things together as well. Yeah. See, I want to talk about um, technically as a musician, specifically your, your go-to rig when it comes to you as a pianist, or let's even say just maybe as a keyboard player on stage, depending on what's needed or but what is your go-to rig and what is your advice for upcoming musicians? How, how best do you choose your keyboard rig? I mean, in terms of brands, do you go by brands? Do you go by, what is your yeah. take on? Um, okay, I, I, I will try and answer that, I guess the best way I can. With me, I think it was all about the kind of sound I wanted to create for myself and and basically how i want to brand myself put myself out there for one i didn't want to sound like everyone right out there you know we have a lot of amazing musicians gospel pianists that are out there but i wanted to stand out at the end of the day we can all play M mks we can all play a beautiful piano sound yeah. but i wanted something that's going to stand out for me you understand and i remember at at at, at some time in the past for me I got a Nord endorsement right. which really helped me to define who I wanted to be initially as a, as a pianist because I love the piano sound so I wanted something that was for me that was going to be closer to that raw piano sound and Nord gave me that 
so I started building my 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 sound from there. So everyone, when they see me, they, they associate me to the red, it's to the, the red, red piano. <laughs> exactly. It's more famous than me, actually. So, um, but more than just playing the actual board, I wanted to build a signature for myself, you know, so that whenever you see me, you know, it, okay, this is the person who plays a note and this is his kind of touch on, on the piano. So um, I, I played a note, a note piano for a while and then I lost the endorsement. Then I started playing other brands. I love the Roland as well, the RD series. Those are beautiful um, um, uh, pianos. Um, the Yamaha is also a, a, a great piano. Just that for me, it's been overused. So I wanted something else that I can. I can. Right. So yeah, the Nord and the RD uh, series for me have, have been great for my kind of sound, the right. way I want to sound and right. so on. So I think as an advice to, I guess, young musicians, really find your signature find if you want to stand out in this industry you right. can you can you can sound like usab you can sound like usi or whoever but at some point you have to sound like yourself right you know you have to define who you are in this in, in this industry so that when people look for you it's because they look they're looking for that specific touch and that specific sound yeah well uh, yeah mouthful um See, so, yeah, speaking of, uh, I know you tapped into an endorsement a bit. I just want to, I know it's a very touchy subject when we speak about endorsements because people have very um, different opinions about uh, endorsements and different information about endorsements. What is your understanding of an endorsement as a session musician or maybe what an endorsement should be? Or what, let me say, maybe what endorsement should look like between an artist and a company? Um, yeah, basically, I mean, it's just that you endorse a certain brand, meaning that you represent um, that brand. So when, they, when, when you are in action, you have to be seen with that kind of a brand and you have to represent it to the best of your ability as a musician. Um, so for me, I mean, more than any other thing, you have to you have to be loyal to the brand. You have to almost clothe it. It should be it should be you because the the two have to be inseparable: the artist and the brand you're endorsing. So that's the best way you can actually go out there and represent any brand that you associate yourself with. You have to do it faithfully. You have to do it religiously. Right. You know. So you have to really make use of that of that. Uh, brand to the full find out other things that maybe other people have not discovered about the brand um, they should see that those those elements and those things from you as a as someone that's endorsing the brand so I, I my understanding of, of an endorsement is when you really represent the brand to, uh, to the full to the maximum sure all right yeah. um, well in closing see I where to from here I mean you've accomplished so many things you've produced so many albums you've started your own um tutorial company you've yeah. i mean yeah you've composed so many songs you are still currently directing the biggest uh, gospel ensemble choir in possibly i'd say the southern hemisphere um yeah. where to from here what what is usia doing for usia moving on um as you might know um, I'm working on releasing my debut album. Right. <sighs> yeah, it's a bit nerve-wracking, but I trust it will be well received out there. Yeah. Um, it's mainly uh, consisting of music I wrote. Um, I, f I featured some of my friends, some of them you know from the industry, the likes of Unatim mm Zegeli, -hmm. Noloazi, um, Ndushezi. I mean, that's the cream of the crop when right. it comes to right. the kind of sound. I want to, 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 to get out there. I'm all about African jazz um, and a touch of gospel there. So yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm, 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 I'm going to do next. Um, sometime this year, people should look out for that, awesome. for my debut project. Yeah. Well, Sia, so thank you so much for being here. Um, I think Thanks for having me. Um, we've said quite a bit. Um, Sia has his social media handles as well which you will see possibly on the bottom of this screen at some point 
if you're not seeing them as I'm pointing now, but he has his social media handles that you can follow and we'll be bringing you many, many, many more artists on this uh, Know the Pro with Sabu Sacha, powered by Marshall Music. This is a great initiative taken, by, taken up by Marshall Music and we just want to bring these people closer to you, these people that you've aspired to um, hear more of and know more about and we bring them live to you every month now we'll have someone different that you can see so yeah that was Siang Nobam Teta for our first one to kick it off and guys until we see you again on the next one peace out <laughs>